Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, how you folks doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Con Man Universe. I'm your host, Con Man 167, and I am so excited to be here today with you guys for this amazing, excellent, excellent show that we have planned for you. There's been a lot of work that has went into it. That's the reason why we're so late here today. Um, but today is the Trials of McIntyre. That's right, guys. You are looking at the screen right there. The Trials of Drew McIntyre. In today's show, we are going to talk all about what these trials have in store for the big Scottish psychopath. But here we go. Let's jump right into the show with the Con Man Certified Roll Call. So who do we got in here today? Well, we got Brad Rhea, who dropped $5. I'll read that out loud in just a second. We'll also get that going on over to our uh, our beautiful girl called Barbara to read it out loud for you. We got a Led Thomas, we got Sophia Barajas, we got Christian Alfred, we got Sed or Caden Alvis, how you doing? Shell is in here, how you doing Shell? We got Jamie Todd, we got TJ Young, Calvin Myers, we got Con Mom up in here, uh, and Terrell Broom, we're gonna say hello to you as well. But let's do this thing everybody, it is the Con Man Universe, and this is going to be our uh, our second last show for a few days here. I'm very excited as I'm going on vacation after NXT tonight uh, for just the weekend. And I'm really looking forward to it. But Brad, let's read this thing out here. What do you have to say? And what does Barbara have to say here? Um, as obviously, Barbara is the person who reads out her voice. Burn it down! Am I in the right stream? Because this YouTuber is way too awesome for me, lol face with tears of joy, JK love, y'all con. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Brad. That's awesome. You are absolutely in the right stream here today. But we are starting things off with a superstar that we do not get to see much of. And the Demented Dervis. This guy, when I say Demented, he is in fact just that. Demented. Dervis cannot seem to uh, really function properly. He's a very unorthodox competitor here in the Con Man universe. And we don't ever get to see him, but Dervis here tonight, starting off the show, and uh, he is going to try to make a mark here as this giant, giant guy known as Dervis enters the ring. Once again, the demented Dervis. Okay. But here we go tonight, everybody. Once again, we're also getting the Trials of McIntyre. Let's get excited for that one. We got Kayla Bernstein dropping $2 up in here. Says, have a great vacation, Con Man. Thank you so much, Kayla. I appreciate it. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's it's so needed. It is just so needed. Uh, where's the notifications? Well, that's a good question. I don't have a clue where you guys' notifications are. I don't know why. They're maybe not running. Just give me two seconds here. I gotta turn on the far light uh, because it's a little dark in here. That'll probably be a little brighter. Not a ton, but it's better for sure. Uh, hey, Jaden, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the live stream. And Jamie Todd. Okay, so you were asking who won the draw. We actually drew for two people last night in the members' draw. And Captain Solomon and Robert Briggs are the winners of this month's draw for a member, or what is it, for a character in the Con Man universe. There we go, everybody. But let's do this. Who do you guys think is going to win? Type 1 for Dervis, Type 2 for Kruna, the United States Champion. Here we go. And whoa, everybody, just take a look on the outside if you guys notice this. We have ourselves an LED screen that is lit up right now, and it doesn't actually have the Bob logo, which is crazy. If this camera zooms out at any point, look at the close side on the hard camera side. There is an LED screen. Look at that. The Bob logo's gone. Um, That is very interesting. So Bob obviously doing some rebranding to his arena here, investing in an LED screen that obviously is uh, going to apparently up his uh, his production value. I don't know. Here we go, though. Demented Dervis against the United States champion, Kruna. And, man, tonight, a win for Dervis would be massive. Like, this would be a win that would elevate him into the next level of his career. However, right now, we're not too sure if he's going to be able to get to that part of his career because he's got to walk through the United States champion first. Woo! 
But remember, everybody, also, if you really enjoy the series and you would like to have a, uh, a character in the series yourself, you can always become a top tier member, which is available. It's called the Hall of Fame tier or what? No, it's called the Legends Row tier. Sorry, my bad. And if you become a part of Legends Row, you get a character in the Con Man universe. It is that simple. So make sure you guys take a look at that if you would like to be in the series. Dervis, though, slowly, slowly jumping up to his feet. Back elbow there to Kruna. Another one hits him in the midsection. And a right hand catches Kruna again. But Kruna back around the outside as he continues to kick on the legs, trying to chop down the size of Dervis. Oh, my God. Did you see the flapjack there? And Kruna right back into the pinfall. Referee could do it. Oh, kick out right there. Well, not simple. You need 50. Actually, Jamie Todd, we reorganized the uh, the new memberships. Take a look at them. The top tier is $25 United States uh, in the U.S., I should say, in U.S. Uh, money. U.S. currency. My God, my brain's not working. Wait a second. Here you go. Look at Dervis. Wait, what's Dervis going to do? Oh, my God. Rolling elbow. He just drops it into the chest of Kruna. And look at that. We got games galore. Games galore, dude. Thank you so much for becoming a new member. I wonder if, uh, what level of membership you just became. It's a good question. Uh, right there, it says you are a... Yeah, you're a supporter. Awesome, Games Galore. Thank you for being a basic supporter here of the channel, getting your name turned green. Right back into it, though. Do you see those elbows? Kroon is in trouble. Oh, my God! Kroon! Oh, he just kicked out. He just kicked out. So yes, guys, if you become a top tier member in Legends Row, you get a character in the series. Only 23 euro a month for you. There you go, buddy. See, I, I, I reduced the prices. I thought that, you know what, it was probably a little bit too much beforehand, right? But man, look at this. The United States champion right back on the offense as Kruna gets driven into the, or drives his shoulder into Dervis. Right there again, back off the ropes. Oh my God, Kruna drives the face of Dervis into the ground. And right back up to his feet. A right hand there as Kruna hits the zigzag. Kruna's closing in. Kruna might be, oh, but look at this arm drag there from Dervis. And again, Dervis, if he picked up a win here tonight, this would obviously elevate him into the United States title picture. And, and Sam Ward is the number one contender for the U.S. title. So maybe we'd be looking at a, a, a triple threat type of match. I don't know if that's going to happen, but look at Dervis. What a clothesline in the corner, and the demented one. The demented one is slowly picking up steam. Oh, but a right-hand counter there from Kruna. And Kruna working him off the ropes. A shot to the kidneys. Another shot to the kidneys from the United States champion. And Kruna's looking to put this away. Kruna's going for it. Kruna! DDT! It's all over, folks. Count to 100. The demented one has just been Duffy. What? No! Oh, my God. Dervis kicked out of the, the Kruna DDT. Games Glory, I'm doing fantastic, buddy. Thank you for supporting us as becoming a member. But a right hand there from the demented one. And, oh, my God, could this could demented Dervis do this? Could the demented Dervis do this? Oh, my God, look at these shots. Look at these. Right into the uppercut as Dervis lays down the United States champion. But you got to stay on the offense there, man. You cannot let up. Go right at him. Dervis, what you waiting for? Oh, a stomp to the back of the leg. And Dervis now. Dervis looking to put away Kruna. Oh, but Kruna reverses his finishing move. And a clothesline takes down Dervis. It looks like Kruna wants to stay in this match. That is absolutely for sure. Aw, oh, Gamers Glory, dude, that's awesome to hear. Thank you once again, buddy. I really do appreciate it. People like you supporting this channel, keep it alive. Right back into the cover, though. Has Kruna got enough here on Dervis? I don't think so. Dervis, oh my god, Dervis! Holy crap, Dervis just kicked out there. Mm. Right hand to the face of Kruna. And man, like, I am impressed by Dervis here tonight. Dervis is a superstar we haven't seen much of all, but he just got countered there. And when he gets in this ring, he hasn't really... Oh, no! Dervis just got planted for the second time into the Kruna 
DDT, bust him open, and it's all over. Kruna knocks off Dervis, but man, not without, not without a fight from Dervis, not without Dervis taking the champion to his limit. Oh, but damn. Bruna just picking up the win there. Dervis was looking so impressive in one of his first matches in a long, long time. Nice try there, Dervis, but Kruna ends up walking Here's away with the win here tonight. That is your United States champ. Oh! Oh! Look out! Look out, Kruna! Look out from behind! It's the number one contender, Sam Ward! Sam Ward is here! Sam Ward going right after Kruna, but Kruna now starting to fight him away. Kruna hits him down! And Kruno with a, a mini, what's it called? A mini flatliner. And no, not to Sam Ward. Not to Sam. Sam Ward hit with the Kruno DDT. And Sam Ward faces the wrath of the United States champion as well. You don't get to sneak attack the US champion. Kruno will put you flat on your ass. Man, so that is the start here tonight to the Con Man universe. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? But welcome, everybody. If you are just tuning in, make sure you leave a like on this video. Also, making sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you guys are truly, truly enjoying the series, you can always make sure that you become a member. And if you become a top-tier member here in Legends Row, that is, I believe, $24.99 a month U.S., then guess what? You get in the series. It's that simple. If you would like to be in the series, you can. If you would like a chance to be in the series, however, you can become a $5 member. And if you support the channel for $5 a month, every single month you are entered into the draw until you get a character in the Con Man universe and then your character is in here for life. So you can cancel your membership if you would like to, but that is the way the draw works. Let's continue on here tonight as we have ourselves the second matchup of the evening. It is Jeremy Bunn versus Quentin Askew. And man, this is again another superstar who doesn't get that many opportunities. Uh, unfortunately for, for Jeremy Bunn, he just doesn't get that many opportunities. Every time he seems to enter the ring, he, he tends to lose. However, tonight he is taking on the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. He's got the size advantage, he's got the strength advantage. And let's see what happens here if Jeremy Bunn can pick up a win. It's a good, good question, isn't it? Making his way to the ring. Let's see here. From New York, weighing in at 277. Oh no. There you go, folks. It's Jeremy Bunn. And yeah, uh, there are a few superstars who share some similar theme songs. What I will say is that usually the superstars that I focus on, I, I make sure that their theme songs and everything is really original. This is one of the guys that was at the, the very, very, very start of the Con Man universe. Brain Sports was added in later. This guy didn't get that many opportunities. And next thing you know, Brain Sports took over his theme song. So there are a few superstars that kind of cross paths with same theme songs. There's only so many in the game, right? But here you go. Speak of a superstar who is just coming into his own. Quinton Askew. Last Monday, or at least this past Monday, here on Monday Night Con, he won the Cruiserweight Open Invitational Battle Royal to become the number one contender for a Led Thomas's Cruiserweight title. Tonight, he is back here. Uh, here we go. Jamie Todd says, you said uh, about not getting much time on the universe if we cancel, if we get the legend. Okay, so I think he kind of misunderstood what I said there. Basically, what I was saying is the people who do support me at the top tiers will always be finding themselves in some storylines, for sure. If you happen to go on a massive losing streak, I will change things up or whatever. Let's say you do become the top tier member and then you drop back down to a $5 member. Just because you are in the series doesn't mean that I will be pushing you at all given times. But I still will look to to still promote you, you know? Like, we don't have that many superstars here. Um, I will not, like, purposely leave you off the card, you know what I mean? But if your character isn't able to pick up some momentum, he might fall down the card sort of thing, is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, no, you would still be in the series. You would still be uh, promoted. You would still get some matches. You'd still get opportunities, as does everybody in the Con Man universe. The thing is, you just got to make the most of your opportunities, right? 
Quinton Askew sent off the ropes here and talk about opportunities. Jeremy Bunn here tonight, this is a giant opportunity for him. If Jeremy Bunn can potentially pick up this win right here, you got to think that he would enter into the next phase of his career. Knocking off a number one contender for a cruiserweight championship is huge. Now, Quinton Askew is a cruiserweight and Jeremy Bunn is a heavyweight. There is definitely... A, uh, a mismatch in size and strength in this match and we're gonna see if the bigger man can possibly win but right now Quentin Askew is held in a little bit of trouble and Jeremy Bunn could use this win big time Jason Lyle saying I have 30 plus superstars in my universe I think we have I think we have 30 plus on each brand not gonna lie between uh, real life superstars and uh, and created ones I could be wrong though I very well might be wrong. Oh, a drop kick right there to the back of Jeremy Bunn's head. And wait. No! Guess who came to collect? Guess who came to collect? Of course, who else? Look behind you. Quentin, look out behind. It's it's the cruiserweight champion. No! Blind side kick! And a lead rolls out of the ring as Jeremy Bunn is crawling slowly to the cover, trying to get down there to the cover on Quinton. He hooks the leg. Is it all over? Quinton, two kicks out of the blind side kick. Oh. So a lead Thomas just made his mark known on Quinton Askew. A lead Thomas was just like, you know, whoa, what a reversal by Quinton. He was like, you're going to come in and try to win my championship one more time. Nah, 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 nah. This is my division. And I will make you, I will make you regret ever winning that battle royal. A lead Thomas, man. Ah, the sneak attack from a lead. Right here on Wednesday night, Bob, the cruiserweight champion is everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, right back into the match here. Quinton Askew with a big kick to the face. And I don't know how Quinton Askew is still uh, standing off that blind side. Wait, what the hell is this? What a leg drop from Quinton. Man, Quinton, and you got to ask, how is he a cruiserweight? This guy looks huge. Kick out there by Jeremy Bunn. Oh, what an elbow to the face of Jeremy. And again, if Jeremy wins this, then, then you know, like, we, we're talking, like, United States Championship. We're talking, oh, wait, hang on. What the hell is, no. Quinton drives him right into the mat with a DDT. Thunderous shot from Quinton. And look at the blue hue on the outside of the ring as these guys are starting to drive each other nuts. Welcome to the new arena of Wednesday Night Bob as well, everybody. It's slightly reformed. Um, just slightly. Not massively, though. As Quinton Askew is getting worked right now by Jeremy Bunn. Sent face first off the ring apron. And Jeremy's just going to look to send him right back inside the ring. Here you go. And Quinton, again, being put in a very, very tough predicament. The cruiserweight is being dominated by the heavyweight right now. And this was exactly Led Thomas's plan. To go down there, cause enough of a distraction, cause some damage and leave before Quinton could even pick up any momentum in the match. A kick to the back there as Jeremy Bunn's looking for him to get up. What's Bunn got in mind? Jeremy Bunn, oh, reversal there by Quinton. He's not gonna eat a finishing move right now. He goes for a right hand block there by Jeremy Bunn, but Jeremy right lift him up and slams him down into the mat. Look at the size of Jeremy. Lifts him up in a clothesline there. Another clothesline from Bunn as he ducks underneath off the ropes. What a leaping lariat as Jeremy Bunn continues to build momentum moving forward. Now he's going to go for an Irish whip, but he misses that as Xavier, not Xavier, sorry, as Quinton rolls around the back of him. And oh, Quinton's got him. The Quinton bomb. The Q bomb. I don't know what we call it there, Quinton. You need to name these moves. But into the cover two, Jeremy kicks out. Oh, another kick to the midsection. And Quinton this time just working on the arms again, ever so slowly. 
I've seen some people ask, am I doing NXT tonight? Yes, I am. I will be doing NXT. Um, at least that is absolutely my plan. We're not doing the podcast today. I just unfortunately didn't have time to do it. As you guys saw, I was late. But Jeremy, oh my god, Jeremy! Don't, oh! He just double choke slammed Quinton. Folks, I think it's all over for the number one contender. Jeremy Bunn, two! Oh, Quinton just kicked out. The giant bun just hit a massive double choke slam. But look, Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. What a splash from the heavyweight. The giant just delivered all 300 pounds into the ground. Quinton has, no, oh, Quinton just kicked out again. Ho oh, ho, how is Quinton alive? How is Quinton still breathing? Oh, he hits the jawbreaker reversal as Quinton goes for the spin kick. Look at this. He's got him up and over. What a move. Quinton plants him into the ground. And Jeremy Bunn. Oh, he just sweeps the legs out of Quinton as Bunn could be closing in on another victory. No, just slams the knee of, uh, of Quinton into the mat. And look at the size of Jeremy Bunn. How is Quinton still alive? How is the Cruiserweight still fighting against Bun? Look at this though. One more time. Bun looking to put him away. Actually, he's telling him to get up. What is Jeremy Bun thinking here? Jeremy Bun flying like a Cruiserweight as he drives the axe handle into the head of Quinton, busting him wide open. Oh my god, do you see the blood pouring out of the face of Quinton? Quinton Askew is, he's in a lot of trouble. Quinton is wearing the crimson mask right now. But wait, Quinton, oh my god, look at the strength as he drives Bun with the lawn dart into the corner turnbuckle. And Quinton Askew could do it off the turnbuckle lawn dart. He has beaten Jeremy Bun. And Quinton Askew fighting off all the odds. Wow. And a blind side kick from a lead. And look at that. Quinton Askew. Quinton Askew with a gutsy, gutsy, gutsy performance. Wow. That was good. Here is your winner. And not even a lead Thomas, not even a lead, could put an end to this recent hot streak from Quinton Askew. Congratulations, Quinton. You have defeated Jeremy Bunn. All right. Welcome again, everybody, here to the series. I hope you are enjoying the show so far. If you are, make sure you leave a like on this video. Also, making sure you are subscribed to the channel. You guys can see your name pop over there on the top left-hand corner. If you guys are truly enjoying the show and you would like to become a part of the show, you can become a $5 member and you can get access to the Members Draw, which once a month we pick a character who gets entered into the Con Man universe. If you would like to skip the draw, you could support the channel at $24.99 US dollars a month. And that gets you a guaranteed character in the series, plus all the extra benefits of being a member. So make sure you guys check that out if you would like to be a part of the Con Man universe. But here we go, guys. Let's continue on as we have a very intriguing matchup next. Take a look at this. This is the Tornado Tag Team match between the number one contender, Cal Lily, and the women's champion, Shell the Black Widow, versus... Former Miss Money in the Bank, Sofia Barajas, and the man, the last kicker, Becky Lynch. This is intriguing because all four of these superstars are somewhat linked. And you got to ask yourself, if Lynch and Sofia were to pick up the win over the number one contender and the women's champion, do they get added into the match to make it a fatal four-way? That's the question here tonight. And if they can impress us here tonight, if they can impress us, it's entirely possible that Sophia and Becky get added into the championship match. But a win tonight for Cal Lily and uh, Shell the Black Widow would obviously put an end to that. 
But just take a look here, folks, as Shell shows off the new stage of Wednesday Night Bob. Take a look at it, folks. Do you like the new stage? I do. But she turns on around, and it's Shell, the Black Widow. She is the queen. That's right. But tonight, so much lies on the line. Can the champion and the number one contender coexist? Can Cal Lily and Shell actually work together in this matchup to can, to defeat a common foe in Sofia Barajas and Becky Lynch? But then again, the baby faces, Becky Lynch and Sophia, they want this win so bad. This match actually has so much on the line right here. A win for Becky and Sophia puts them into a championship title opportunity. It's that simple. If you beat the champion and the number one contender, you're damn right you're a part of that match. You're damn right. But look at Shell standing tall here. Our women's champion <laughs> Oh, I don't have any sound. Frig. I just thought about that guys. I didn't have any sound. My bad. Remember everybody, if there's never any sound playing, um make sure that you let me know, okay? And then I'll always turn it right back on. Sorry about that. Look at this though, hang on. Where's our partner coming from? There she is, up in the rafters as always. It's Kala Lily. And Kala Lily will slowly walk down. And Kala Lily Walking down the actual staircase now. She is no longer elevating herself self above the entire WWE crowd as she comes on down into the ring. There we go. Hey, Nicard, how you doing, buddy? And Kala. She is here. The number one contender for Shell the Black Widow's Women's Championship. She won that uh, number one contendership match. What was it? Uh... Two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago on Wednesday Night Bob, she won the number one contenders match, putting her at the forefront of the women's division. And look at that, the fist bump is out there from Kala Lily. And their opponents. There you go. And their opponent. Is this WWE 2K19? Yes, it is, my friend. It is WWE 2K19. And here is the man, the last kicker, Becky Lynch. Whoa. Whoa. Say it with me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> there you go. It's Becky Lynch. And imagine she picks up the win here tonight. Imagine she can get a win in this Tornado Tag Team match. Or will it be Sophia Barra? <laughs> she brings that swag like nobody can. Former Miss Money in the Bank did the honorable thing. Announced ahead of time when she was going to be cashing in Money in the Bank. Got her all the way to um to SummerSlam. Cashed in there and came up oh so short to shell the Black Widow. You know, she, she is just so... So over with the fans. She wants to do things the right way. She wants to earn that championship the right way. And a win tonight 
puts you right back into the driver's seat, Sophia. So here we go. Tornado tag team action. Let's see what happens. Sophia, Becky, Kala, Shell. And we got them squaring up right away. Look at this. Shell the Black Widow being taken out right away by Sophia Barrage. Just as Becky Lynch is going to work on Kala Lily. And the baby faces stand tall at the very start. But Shell the Black Widow going to go right back on the offense here of Shell. <coughs> of Sophia, I should say. Oh, misses the clothesline there as the baby faces misses both their big moves. Misses that one, and now the heels are starting to take over as Cal Lily's kicking on Becky Lynch. But Sofia Barajas taking down Shell the Black Widow. And these four women are going to put on a slobber knocker of a match. What a high knee there from Shell, and she hits the first big move of the match. Becky Lynch is going to go with something here as well. Nice little suplex there to Cal Lily. And Sophia shoves back away. Shell and a big clothesline sends Shell over the top rope. Cal Lily with a jawbreaker there to Becky Lynch as she hits a forearm. So we got one heel standing tall in the middle of the ring. And we got a baby face standing tall on the outside of the ring. But look at this. A cross arm breaker is being put in on Becky Lynch as she's going to try to make her tap out. But Becky right back up to her feet. And a snap suplex on the outside of the ring from Sophia Barajas. Insiguri there, arm drag from Lynch, as there is so much action going on here right now. Sophia's dancing on the outside as Becky Lynch is driving Cal Lily face first. But look at Shell. Oh my God, what's Shell got in mind? Shell just gonna try to drive. Oh no! Look at Shell. Oh, she just tried to snap the arm of Sophia. And their rivalry goes back much further than this. It goes much, much further as Shell and Sophia are trying to equalize things with each other. Look at this. Shell just dropping her right there. But Calla Lily right back on the offense as she's going to try to make Becky Lynch tap. Big kick right there. But Becky Lynch is right back up to her feet as Shell sends her back inside the ring. Oh, look at that back body drop there. Attempt on Shell. Nice little back heel kick from Sophia Barajas and Becky Lynch. Oh, she just hit the back exploder. And back into the corner goes Shell the Black Widow. Is Sophia going to look to hit her split leg and moonsault? She totally is. Sophia Barajas split leg and moonsault to Shell. And a sweep of the legs from Cal Lily as she locks in the knee bar. But Sophia just takes out the referee. And I think that might have been a mistake there, Sophia, as you could go after Shell and try to pin her right now. But Cal Lily just sends Becky Lynch over the top rope. And look, look. Shell's in trouble. Shell's in trouble. She's locked in the Amazonas clutch. She's locked in the Amazonas clutch. But, oh, Calla Lily's going to break it up right there. And Calla Lily, but then right into the pinfall goes uh, Sophia. But a kick to the midsection as Calla Lily starts to take over Sophia. But look out behind. Look out behind Shell. Shell, Becky Lynch. Shell, Becky Lynch got her down. Disarmor locked in. But Shell gets out of it somehow. I don't know how Shell got out of that one. And Shell's back up to her feet. Spinning back heel kick there from the man, Becky Lynch. And look at Cal Lily. She's waiting for Sophia to get up. And now, locked in Californication part two. But she gets out of that one as well. As Sophia stays alive, she lifts up Cal Lily into a suplex. Nicely done as Cal rolls to the outside of the ring. And look, that leaves. Shell and Sophia in the ring. Calla though, she's going to slide right back in. And I don't think Sophia was paying attention, but she hits a back elbow and a lariat as well. Another clothesline takes down Cal Lily. And a back heel kick as well as this action is high octane here to start off the show. Oh, look at this. Or not even start off the show, start off this match. Look at the, what's that, half, half camel clutch right there, or half uh, Boston crowd. But look again, Shell, look at it. Look out! Sophia hits the split leg and moonsault, and it might be all over there as Sophia dances around the ring. Cal Lily is in so much trouble. Becky Lynch, rear view! Rear view, and Becky Lynch hit the back exploder. It might be all over for Cal Lily and Shell, too! And Sophia, no, she can't get the pin. She can't get the pinfall as Cal Lily kicks out of the rear view. Becky Lynch is working on Shell the Black Widow right now. And Calla Lily, imagine if she finds a way. Look at Becky Lynch though on the outside of the ring. She's got the Disarmor. The Disarmor's locked in on the outside of the ring. The Disarmor's locked on the outside of the ring. I don't know if Shell's going to tap out though. Becky Lynch, no, she doesn't let her out. And she just lets her go. Shell is in a lot of trouble. Thrown back inside the ring as Becky Lynch 
and Kala Lily are both taunting the crowd. Kala Lily tries to help her up. Kick to the midsection as Kala Lily works her right now. What a driver on the knee. Clothesline from Lynch. Clothesline from Lynch again. A back heel kick there. Fireman's take over carry on to Kala Lily as Sophia Barrage just look at the flurry of kicks. What a kick to the head of Kala. But there's a roll up as Sophia tries to break it up. She tries, but Becky Lynch kicks out. She couldn't quite get the break up as now Shell is looking for her finishing move. But I think Sophia is going to go right after her. Look at this. Oh, Shell gets driven into the mat as Sophia is now looking for her finishing move. But Kala Lily from behind. Kala from behind. What an Olympic slam. Becky Lynch right on the offense here and Shell the Black Widow gets dropped right into the top turnbuckle and Cal is just going to try to stretch out the arms of Sofia Barajas. Spinning back heel kick there as Becky Lynch tries to work Shell but Shell is now going right after Becky. Back elbow there. Shell is in trouble. Oh my god! Californication! Californication's locked in. I don't think Becky sees it. Sophia might tap out. Sophia might tap out. Sophia taps out as Kala Lily makes Sophia submit and entrenches herself as the clear number one contender. Kala Lily picks up the win and it looks like the stage is absolutely set. Kala Lily versus Shell the Black Widow. Oh, what a match. And man, at many, many, many times, it felt like uh, it was going to be all over for Becky Lynch and Sophia Barrages. It felt like they were going to pick up the win. Man, guys, what a match as apparently Shell and Kala Lily working well next to each other, but that is going to change in recent weeks, or in upcoming weeks, I should say, because Shell will be going one-on-one -on -one with Kala, and you just know, you just know. <laughs> you just know that Shell is probably going to turn into a massive bitch and attack her from behind. That's just how it goes. That's what Shell does, right? But anyways, guys, if you have not done so, please make sure you leave a like on this video. Also, making sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to see your name pop up all the way over there on the top left-hand corner. If you guys are really enjoying the show, you could always consider dropping a donation. Any little bit is appreciated. Or you can constantly support this channel by becoming a member. You can become a $2 member, get your name turned green, get the con man badge beside your name, get access to our exclusive emojis. You can get your, uh, you can do that by just clicking on the join button. If you become a $5 member, you get access to the draw to be in this series once a month. And if you wish to become a top tier member, which is Legends Row, you guys can get a guaranteed character in this series. Skip the draw, all that great stuff. <clears throat> all right. But let's talk a little bit about the TV Championship because, guys, the TV Championship has been running wild in recent weeks. And the ELK Elk is taking the world by storm. The He's going to defend it here tonight off the man he took it from a week ago, Ian. Burst finally one on one WWE action. And here comes our local luchador. The former TV champion in his own right, he had a great showing in the Cruiserweight Open Invitational Battle Royal last uh, Monday. He couldn't quite win. I believe he made it to the final three. Was very, very close to picking up the win. Couldn't quite get it done, but now tonight, he goes after ELK Elk, the man who holds on to that TV championship and he has defended it already in a fatal four-way. The dude has looked really impressive since becoming a part of the Con Man universe. And we're going to see tonight if those string of wins can continue for E-L-K. It's ELK, baby, and everybody get the elk, 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 
He's here, man. It's Elk. The winner of the June uh, membership draw for the Con Man Universe. It's Elk, your TV champion. And how could you not like this man, the Nature Man Elk? That's right, he's not the Nature Boy, he's the Nature Man. E L K. Hey, uh, Brandon McKeegan, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to live stream. Also, everybody, our main event tonight is really, really one of a kind. Okay, when I'm going to say this, I mean it. Do not miss our main event tonight. You are going to love it. It is the Trials of McIntyre. And that's right, the Bob Club has had enough. Bob's saying, you know what? You're going to go out there. You're going to cause havoc with us. The two-on-one handicap match where we beat your ass last week wasn't enough. You are going to have to go out there and face all of us in the Bob Club. The Trials Challenger. of McIntyre later on Weighing tonight. Gauntlet match. Introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 213 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the Superstar. There you go, and Elk is here. Welcome Austin Fritz, how you doing my friend? Alright now. TV Championship on the line. Here we go, everybody. Lifting it all the way up to the above his head. The referee is ready to go. Ian Burse. Elk. One on one, one more time. Let's do it. And this is for the TV Championship. And Ian Burse last week, he lost that coveted title. Oh, what a heel kick! Oh my god, Elk just exploding. And think about how Elk has won the TV championship. He won it in a triple threat match where he took the title away from, uh, from, uh, what's his name? From Andra, oh no, 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 no. Sorry, he took the title away from Ian Burst without actually pinning the champion. He went and pinned Andrade. So that means Ian Burst never actually lost the title even though he lost the title. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I, I just, I, I don't know what to say here. I really don't know what to say. Ian Burst, he's got to be pissed that he lost his title. He, he's got to be upset that he lost the title without actually getting pinned because he worked so hard to get that TV championship. But here we go. Here's the cover kick out by Elk. ELK, baby. But now a kick to the face. And man, if, if Ian Burst can overcome the odds tonight from competing in the Cruiserweight Open Invitational Battle Royal on Monday Night Con... Maybe he can pick up the TV championship tonight, but Elk has been on another level. Elk is truly something else. Here's a cover and to the kick out. And Elk kind of defines exactly what the TV championship is all about. Overcoming odds, beating them all down, and winning the championship and defending it at all causes. This is his third show since being on the show and he has been involved in every TV championship match. First on Wednesday Night Bob last week, then again on Monday Night Con, and now tonight with his second title defense, if he could do it here again. But off the rolling senton, it could be all over too. Oh my god, Elk kicks out. Ooh. No way. Uh, no one on either Monday Night Con and Wednesday Night Bob is more greater than the Punisher. Oof. Well, we're going to see the Punishers of Darkness later on tonight. We're going to see what you guys can do again. But wait, what's Ian Burst looking for? What the hell? Ian. Ian. No, Ian. Ian with a DDT on the hardest part of the ring. As Ian Burst delivers the big old shot right there. And that might just open up an opportunity. He'll kick from Elk. But Ian Burst, man. What a DDT. As the referee's count begins, TV Championship is on the line. Back inside the ring, count of four from the referee, but a sharp elbow there from Elk. Wait, Elk! What? Whoa! Did Elk just 
deliver a leg drop through the turnbuckle? That can't feel good. Elk lifts him down. Goes into it. Stepping through. Whoa, what's this finishing? What is this submission move? What's this? Look at Elk. Elk's got something crazy locked in. Oh, but somehow, some way, Ian Burst gets out of that one. And I don't know how. Ian Burst with a drop kick. And I don't know how Burst got out of that one. But imagine if Burst can hit the five-star frog splash. It'll be all over by then. Kick to the midsection again. And just wrenching on the neck. Truly wrenching on the neck, but now spinning discus form to the face of Elk. That's all over. Ian bursts into the cover again, and a kick out from the Nature Man. That's right, once again, the Nature Man. Not Nature Boy, Nature Man. Hurricanrana again knocks him down to the ground as Ian Burst continues to show off this high-flying ability here and goes into a cross-arm breaker. Will Elk tap out? I don't think so right now. If he taps out, that'll be one of the most insane early tap outs in a match we've ever seen. But the right hand's there as he gets back up to his feet. Elk is looking for maybe a huge move. Wait, what is this? Elk! Elk! What a power bomb into the bridge! This is how he won the TV Championship! Two! He just beat Ian Burst! No! Yeah, he did! Oh, hang on, what? What? What, 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 what? This is two out of three falls! We just found this out right now. This is a two out of three falls match. Ian Burst was pinned once, but then he gets right back up as the referee allows it to continue. It's a two out of three falls match. As now, Elk has picked up the first fall off the powerbomb. I don't know how this was not announced that this was a two out of three falls, but it is two out of three falls as now Ian Burst is slowly getting up to his feet. A right hand misses him there. But right into, oh my god! What a move from Burst! What is going on? Oh, and a kick to the back there of Elk. Ian Burst, I, I think he knew that it was two out of three falls. He took the advantage of losing the first fall. And now a kick to the back again. Ian Burst is going up for it. Ian Burst, look at him go! Ian Burst! Oh, the knees were up from Elk as he kips up. Elk just kipped up. Where is Elk going? Elk going to the top rope now. Elk all the way up. Look at Elk. He's telling him to get all the way up now. Ian Burst is in so much trouble. What a missile drop kick from Elk. The nature man. It's got to be over. One. Oh, kick out from Burst. And now right back down into the mat, Ian Burr's. Ooh. Uh, Shell, what's going on with uh, Super Chat? You're saying that you're running some issues? What's going on? Is it just not working? Um, I'll take a look for your comment in the chat. Kick to the midsection there of Elk as he lifts him slowly back up to his feet. Ian Burr's, wait. Could Ian Burr's be looking for the spider suplex? Oh my god, no. Instead, he's just going to go right up here. Look at this. Wait, what is this? Oh, what a split-legged moonsault! What a crazy moment there. What a split-legged moonsault taking the page out of Sophia's books. And it's a tie game! Whoa! Oh, uh, just, just put the little star there instead of actually saying, uh, beat. You know what I mean? Instead of actually saying bitch, just put, like, the little star for the asterisk, and it should go through. <clears throat> Oh, man. But now Ian Burst ducks underneath. Super kick. And it's a tie game. But now we're down to our final fall. Right back into it. Into the corner. Ian Burst could be looking for it. But Elk with the reversal there in the corner. Ian Burst now getting put all the way up on the top rope. Ian Burst eats a chop. Another chop from Elk. And now the big knee there from Burst. Spinning heel kick catches Elk in the kick. Oh, my God. Elk. Oh, no. Code Red! Wow. What a big maneuver there. Back into the corner. Ian bursts. Oh, the reversal from Elk again as he continues to reverse the spider suplex. Elk. No! Not again! Elk! What is this move? Elk! Elk! Oh my god! Driving him face first into the mat. 
Ian Burse. It's got to be over. Two and snow. <laughs> and this match continues. But Elk is going all the way up again. Elk looking to get the final fall. Elk, what an elbow drop. There you go. Dropping the elbow again. Back up there to his feet. Look at the moves there. As he continues to work. Look at this. What is, is Ian Burst going to close in on the win? Is he going to look for his big move? We know what he's looking for. Wait, what a springboard. Oh, my God. And right back into the... Is he going to the cover? Here we go. We got the cover. One, two. Oh, what a kick out there. Whoa, 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 Shell. Frig, Shell. What are you doing? Shell. 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 What are you doing, Shell? My God. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so very, very, very much. I, I Amazing, Shell. Thank you. Unbelievable. I got to continue commentating here. Uh, but, man, oh, man, dropping the leg across the back there of Ian Burse. And now that was a Shell Bomb delivered. But, my God, what? what is this? What is he looking for? What are you looking for? Oh! <laughs> The E-L-K-2, and it's all over. Elk with a crazy defense over Ian Burst. Oh, my goodness. Woo! What a finishing move. What a match. And still... Your TV champion, E-L-K. Elk, 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 my goodness. What a matchup. What a match. That was not the main event, guys. We're not even close to being done. We're 53 minutes into the show, and we still got half the show. Like, frig. <laughs> All right, let's roll this big old 50 bomb right here, courtesy of Shell. Get it. Woo! Read it, Barbara. Take it away, Barb. Just sending some love. This hashtag Conman Universe is amazing. Become a member and get in the game PPL. There we go. Thank you so much, Shell, for your amazing, amazing support. Barbara, reading that out loud for your ears to be graced by the voice of Barb. Let's continue on, though, everybody. We are not done yet. <sighs> I think for new dono gifts, you should definitely have... Who wants to walk with Elias and Bray Wyatt saying Yowie Wowie for a big dono? Yeah, I, I like the idea for sure of Yowie Wowie. I think that would be a really, really fun one. Um, but I don't know uh, what else we're going to do. I really want to to rebrand a lot of my donation gifts. But that's probably going to take about uh, a few weeks here to set up. Especially with the move coming and... Uh, with this weekend here and everything that's going to happen in SummerSlam. Oh my God, this, this summer has already been insanely busy and it's just half over, but like, God, like seriously, this, this summer's flown by already and I've, I've barely got anything done. <laughs> Insane. All right, everybody, let's get on to our next matchup here. Trust me. Whoa. Trust me. Who's this? What the hell? Oh my god. It's Peyton Cash! Oh, what the hell? It's Peyton Cash! Peyton Cash is here! What the hell? Do you trust him? Look at Peyton. Oh my god. 
Peyton Cash has arrived on the scene. Whoa. And his entrance music starts with, trust me, trust me, trust me. Hypnotizing. This man, Peyton Cash, uh, this is insane. Welcome back, Jaden Nova MG Vlogs. My goodness. So, uh, this is crazy. Peyton Cash showing up here tonight on Wednesday Night Bob. Um, he has not been officially assigned and designated to a brand yet, but his debut takes place tonight. And he is going up against the man who's going to make you face the facts. And it's Kurt Hawkins. Queens, hey, welcome back, Blue Dog. Great to see you, buddy. Great to see you. You're not on the card here today. Unfortunately, I couldn't quite find any room for you. Uh, you've had quite a nice little run, so Ludog, we're going to try to find a new storyline for you moving forward. Um, but right now, the card is kind of stacked right now. Uh, Raw reunion next week. Can you do old Raw donations like when you first started for night one? I Honestly, man, that takes so much effort to set up. And when I mean by a lot of effort, I would literally have to re-download every single GIF, get every single music note, or not music note, but get every single audio file set up, cut it on down to the proper size, go into the uh, OBS studio, make sure everything is set up there, go on over to Streamlabs, set up the GIFs, set that all up, make sure everything is working correctly, and then just to take it all away to put in the stuff that I normally have for the following night, because they don't allow you to do multiple profiles from what I know. So, yeah, Sammy Talks, thanks for subscribing. So, unfortunately, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, look at the... Whoa! And here we go. We get to see exactly what Peyton Cash brings to the table. This is a huge, huge first match here tonight for Peyton. If he can pick up this win, this would do wonders for advancing him here. And let's quickly update our results text as this match goes on. So Elk defeated Ian Burst, right? Yes, Elk defeated I I A N. There we go. And so now we're on to this one. Right hand there to the face of Peyton Cash, continuing to work away. Drops him back down to his feet. Oh, look at that, Peyton. And imagine. Imagine if Kurt Hawkins picks up the win here tonight over Peyton Cash. That would do wonders for Kurt as well. But, I mean, here's the thing. Peyton Cash is, like, looking like he's on another level. Oh, what a big knee. And Peyton with a right. Look at him choking him into the corner. Oh, no. Now we're starting to see the aggressive style of Peyton Cash. He's cash money, man. Peyton Cash, right hand there to Kurt Hawkins. Lifts him up to his shoulders. Kurt Hawkins is in real deep trouble as he's going to drape him over the top rope. Um, here's the cover one. Kick out again. Side Russian slag sweep right there. Delivered again. And a kick to the back. Man, Peyton Cash actually getting worked right now by Kurt Hawkins. Jaden OMG Vlog saying, I want a storyline, my friend. If you would like to be in the series, you can become a $5 member or you can become a $25 member and guarantee yourself a chance to be in the series. Wait a second. Where's Peyton Cash going? Peyton. Peyton. What you got in mind, boy? He's telling them to get all the way up now. Look at him go. Peyton Cash. What a right hand. Oh! Oh my god! Peyton flying through the air with that right hand! Two kick out by Hawkins! He stays alive somehow. I don't know how he kicked out of that. But it might be all over here as Kurt Hawkins slowly getting up to his feet. Peyton Cash! Oh, right hand! Wait, what's this? Cash money! Cash out! It's over! One, two, Three and Peyton Cash with that cash out. There you go. Look at that, man. What a win for Peyton Cash off the cash out. 
What a big move. That right hand there knocked down Kurt Hawkins and watch this final move here if they'll show it. I don't know if they will. Um, if we press X, maybe they'll go to the next one. Yeah, look at this move right here. He lifts him up into an inverted pile driver and drops him right on his head. It's all over at that point. It's all over. Two, three. Kurt Hawkins picks up the win. Or not, sorry, Kurt Hawkins, sorry. Here is your winner, Peyton Tash picks the up the win. Wow. That was almost as one-sided as it gets. Congratulations, Peyton Cash, and welcome to the Con Man Universe. We are closing in on the end of the show here today, guys, but we're not quite done yet. Lots to go, but we're getting there. Reminder to everybody that I will be live with NXT tonight. Um, that begins at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Should be a good time. I'm really looking forward to it. NXT should be a good show. We see Apollo Crews versus um, Kushida tonight, which is going to be an amazing match, a showcase match for Apollo Crews, probably a win for Kushida. Uh, we get to see Adam Cole versus somebody for the NXT title, apparently. And there's some other stuff going on. So I'm really excited for NXT tonight. I hope you guys are going to be there. Um, it's going to be a good show. But, uh, Lou Dog asking, Con, can I go back and try to get my UK title belt back? Right now, dude, we're, we're seeing where the story dictates and where it lies and where it's going to put you, all right? We will see what happens next week. Right now, we're focused on the story at hand, which is... The Punishers of Darkness. It's time to punish. Here they are. Cody Bag, Jordan Williams. The Punishers of Darkness. On the way to the ring. Here we go, baby. Pound, the superstar, and These the guys superstar. are here. They're ready to go. And they are taking on the team. Well, the B team. That's right. Bo Dallas, Kurt, Curtis Axel taking on the Punishers of Darkness here in two-on-two -two action. And as these guys slowly get up, what a, uh, what an interesting team to say the least. They look like a tag team now, don't they? That is the Punishers of of darkness and Jordan Williams has embraced the darkness which is always huge to do you know when he embraces this darkness it looks like he uh, it almost looks like he scratched the living hell out of his face and down his arms and the blood poured out of him and that that made him become something really really different but anyways, guys, it is now time for the B team, B team, go, go, go. B team, B team, go, go, go. Also known as the Miztourage, as it is, is the um, their old gimmick here today. <clears throat> but the B team has arrived. Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. Let's see what these two guys can do in the ring. Uh, Steve Taylor saying if they lose to the B team, I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I feel the same way. <laughs> I feel the same way. Honestly, their theme song is pretty cool, not gonna lie. The B team, it's too bad WWE hasn't really done much with them. Because um, they're honestly really, really talented performers. Okay, here we go, guys. Jordan Williams in the ring. Bo Dallas in the ring starting things off. Let's ring that bell and let's do this thing. Oh, just going to slam him down in the mat to start off with. And this is 
most likely going to be a one-sided affair, but never count out tag team action, right? You never know what can happen in two-on-two -two action. Sometimes it's one-sided, sometimes it's as quick as can be. It might be over here, kick out at one by Bo Dallas. <clears throat> That'll be cool, eh, Jamie Todd? That'll be pretty cool. But now lifts him up, drops him back down. And Bo Dallas starting things off here with Jordan Williams. And they're going to try to work in the corner. Let's see if they do frequent tags. Oh, no, nice little reversal there by Jordan Williams. As the Punisher just sends him right into his, in, his own corner. And now he's going to try to tag in Cody. But a reversal there by Bo Dallas. As these guys are going back and forth from their own corners. Bo Dallas goes for the tag. And he gets to make it this time. Curtis Axel is now the official legal man in this match. Look at this double back body drop. Sends Williams crashing to the ground. And always remember, everybody, that at any given time, Jordan Williams uh, can tag in Cody. But Cody also has struggled mightily in the past. He has struggled mightily. Jordan Williams giving him absolutely every chance in the world to prove himself. And we're seeing tonight if Cody can continue to prove that. I mean, Jordan Williams, they might have won one match. But you can admit, they are probably on thin ice. They're probably not getting along all that great backstage. Even though that they've got this new gimmick, Cody's got to prove himself, right? Oh, back elbow there from Jordan Williams. So he sends him right there and back into the corner. One sec, guys. Right, the new... That's uh, right. The United Kingdom champion is able to stop this. Oh, look at that. The right hands. The right hands continue there. As now he's continuing to hammer them away. Delivered again. Jordan Williams with those fists of fury. We've seen him knock out so many superstars. And going right into the corner again. He's got something in mind with Cody Bag. Oh, now here we go. The stomps of punishment. They're being dealt out right now. No, 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 no. The stomps of punishment here. As they continue to tag in and out of this match. Look at this. He's punishing him again. Curtis Axel's eating all these boots in the corner. And now loading it up. Cody Bag drop kick to Curtis Axel. And Cody's just going to turn him over. It could be all over. Jordan Williams back in there, but Bo Dallas creates a separation. But Jordan Williams going to go right after Bo. And Bo gets launched over the top rope. That's what Jordan Williams needed to do. And now Cody could close in on a win right now. He maybe could. Cody Bag looking to work Curtis Axel. Oh, reversal there from Axel. And Axel just going to work him back into his own corner. Tag has been made. Back into the ring is Bo. And nice little arm drag. Cody needed that separation. He needed to do that big time. But he sweeps the legs again there. Cody Begg being lifted back up to his feet. Arm reversal. Nice into the shoulder tackle. And again, Bo Dallas showing off his prowess here in the ring. He's really working Cody right now. Bo lifts Cody back up. Cody needs a reversal here big time. Instead, Bo's going to send him into the corner. And double knee to the back of Cody. And Jordan's got to be looking on, being like, are you serious? We had this match in control, and now you're about to be put away by Bo Dallas. Cody Bag. Oh, he blocks the finishing move of Bo. That was huge. Cody Bag with the reversal kick to the midsection there. And Jordan Williams cannot be happy. Yeah, but now Cody, that Cody tags him in. And is Jordan officially in this ring? Wait, what the hell? Oh my god! The punishment driver! It's all over. Into the cover. Wait, referee! Referee didn't even count! Off the punishment driver, but now Jordan Williams has seen enough. He sends Curtis Axel into an overhead belly to belly. And he is working him in the center of this ring. A kick there to the midsection. Bo Dallas just get kicked down again. My god, off the punishment driver. You thought it was all over, but the referee couldn't even get the count before Bo Dallas got broken up there by Curtis Axel. Oh, what a neck breaker from Bo! And Bo, buddy. 
Oh, into the cover. Imagine this was all over. Kick out at one. Nah, Jordan's not going away that easily. You see Curtis Axel still down on the outside of the ring. The Punishers of Darkness need to take advantage of this opportunity here. Off the ropes. Nice little side slam into his knee. And now Curtis Axel slowly back up to his feet now and back up to the ringside. And Bo Dallas into the cross arm breaker. Will Jordan Williams tap out to the B team? Will Williams tap out here? Oh, he gets out of it. Thanks, Jane No G Vlogs. I appreciate it, buddy. Cody Begg needs the tag back in now. I think Jordan Williams could be closing in on the end, though. Imagine if they make this tag. Oh, nice little reversal there by Bo Dallas. And back into his own corner. Look at this. Oh, the referee just got sandwiched. But now the Punisher of Darkness, the one and only Jordan Williams with the fist of Fury busting open Bo. And that could do it. Jordan Williams into the corner. Cody Begg has been tagged in, locked and loaded for the one and only Punishment Boom Driver. That's all she wrote. Into the cover, one, but again, Curtis Axel breaks it up. Axel with the reversal as Cody Begg and Jordan Williams can't seem to figure out how to beat down their opponents. They can't seem to figure it out. They can't seem a way to corner their opponents. Oh, he misses the discus forearm there as Bo Dallas is now back inside the ring. Bo Dallas. Oh, skull crushing finale. Skull crushing finale. Spear from Bo. And Bo into the cover. No way. Two. Oh, kick out by Cody. And Cody is still in this match. The Punishers of Darkness struggling mightily here to put away the B team. As the B team gets the tag, Curtis Axel and Bo gonna do the double team. Look at this move. Oh, what a neck breaker. It's over, it's over. Curtis Axel into the cover, but oh, Jordan Williams again having to save Cody Bang. Where is Bo? Oh, Bo is going all the way up top. Oh, but Cody Bag now sweeps the legs. Wait, what's Cody going after? Is Cody going after Bo? No, Cody. Oh, man, Cody. Cody, 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 Cody. He's looking to put him away. Cody Bag. Oh, backslide there. He gets down off of him there. Curtis Axel with a right hand to Cody Bag. Back off the ropes. And now Jordan Williams is nowhere to be seen. Imagine the B team win. The B team are taking the Punishers of Darkness to their limit. Drops the knee to his face. And Cody is in so much trouble right now. What's going through the mind of Jordan Williams? Every time Cody steps in the ring, it seems like he just can't get the job done. Back there into the corner. Reversal there by Cody. He needs that. Oh, a right hand blocked there by Curtis Axel. And again... Reversing him, not allowing any momentum for Cody. Look at this, the double team from the B team. What a move! Count to 100, referee. Oh, but Cody reverses it. Cody needs to wake up. Cody needs to get the tag into Jordan Williams. Cody goes for the kick. He gets blocked again by Bodell's and a neck breaker takes him down again. Cody Begg can't get anything done as he's crawling. He's trying. He gets the hot tag. And in comes Jordan Williams. He hammers him down. And now Jordan Williams, the man, the myth, the legend himself, back in the ring. Reversal there. Oh, but Axel with a drop to hold onto Jordan Williams. And now lifts him up. Side slam to Williams. And Williams getting absolutely decimated now. Are the B team the Punishers of Darkness? Uh, they're, they're kryptonite? Hey Cody, how you doing buddy? Welcome to the live stream. But now the tag has been made again. Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel. Neck breaker combo. Cody's nowhere to be seen. Cody nowhere to be seen. Two, and the Punishers of Darkness just lost to the B team. Oh my God! Cody, nowhere to be seen. The B team just beat the Punishers of Darkness. 
And I, I, uh, I, I, I gotta ask now, what the hell is going on between the Punishers of Darkness? Could they seriously not get the job done? And the B team standing tall. Wow. You best believe Cody and Jordan are going to have some words for each other. You best believe it. Wow, um, I, I am, um, I'm flabbergasted, but everybody, we are at this point in the night, we're at the point in the night where we are going to hear from Drew McIntyre ahead of Drew McIntyre's main event, Drew McIntyre. And the Trials of McIntyre is coming up in just a few moments. But before that, we are going to hear from him himself. McIntyre has a promo in the ring. And let's see what Drew has to say about the Bob Club. He's a little happy coming on down to the ring. And McIntyre is here. Again, this is... The Trials of McIntyre. Will Drew be able to def just defend his honor in the main event here tonight? Thank you guys for the no sound. I appreciate it. Um, here we go, everybody. Here is Drew. WWE Universe, welcome to the new era. What does that mean exactly? It means we have new people around here causing the same old problems. And some things need to be addressed immediately before they get out of hand. They say it's better to be pissed off than be pissed on. Let me tell you something, it feels even worse when you're pissed on while you're pissed off. That's why it's my time to make a stand. No more mind games, it's time to get serious. There are a lot of superstars in the back who think they're all better than me. Well, I say it's time for them to put up or shut up. I'll gladly step in the ring and take on any superstar in the back who has the guts to challenge me. I'm the only guy out here that deserves a shot and an opportunity. I am saying, and hope I don't come off as bold here, but you'd be hard-pressed to find somebody more deserving than me. I know that in the end, if I just keep my head down and keep all that hard work up, I'll get these things that I'm demanding. But unfortunately, I'm super, super impatient. So I'm probably going to keep causing trouble. Sorry, everyone. And everybody now, it is time for the main event. Let's get here right now as we have ourselves. Drew McIntyre running the gauntlet. Ding, ding, ding. Ring that bell, referee. There you go. And we got a... Oh! Shoulder tackle there as he is starting to take on the gauntlet. Wait! What the hell? Steve Taylor! Steve Taylor starting the gauntlet. And he just got hit with a Claymore boot. Oh, my God. Drew McIntyre. Wait! Oh, my God. McIntyre again. Drew. 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 Another Claymore kick. As McIntyre now. What the hell? Drew McIntyre right into it again. Future Shock DDT. The first man of the Bob Club here on the gauntlet. It's all over. Two. Oh my God, McIntyre just beat Steve Taylor. Next man in the gauntlet. Who's next? Who is next in the trials of McIntyre? It's Matthew Bono! It's Matthew Bono! And Matthew Bono is here! Oh, he takes down Drew McIntyre on the outside of the ring. This is a gauntlet match, everybody. This is the trials of McIntyre. As now Matthew Bono is officially... Oh, McIntyre busted wide open! Drew! Drew! Oh my god, Drew! 
through is in so much trouble right now as Matthew Bano is going on the offense. He hits a right hand there. Another, another punch to the face. And oh my, what the hell? Drew! Future Shock DDT! And remember everybody, the Trials of McIntyre is a false count anywhere as he's lining up Matthew Bano from the Bob Club now. Look at him go! Matthew Bano, a Claymore boot! A Claymore boot as well as Matthew was trying to impress the Bob Club. But I don't think it's going to happen as he eats another Claymore boot into the cover. Referee is there. One, two. Referee counts to three. And McIntyre has knocked off Bono and Steve Taylor here. To it's Bob! Bob was waiting there! Oh my god, McIntyre right into the Claymore boot as Bob was waiting at ringside for his turn. And Drew McIntyre went right after Bob. Look at him go! Bob is being taken out by Drew now. And Drew McIntyre is absolutely decimating Bob at this moment. He's going to town on him right now. Bob is in so much trouble. Sent right back inside the ring. Here he goes, and now McIntyre lining up Bob from the Bob Club. No way, oh, another Claymore boot. Another Claymore boot, and here you go. He's got him again, kick to the midsection. Future Shock DDT. And McIntyre, one more time. Sorry about the arena change, guys. This is pre card. Sorry about that. Oh my God, McIntyre, wait. Is McIntyre going to go further here with Bob? Hang on a second. I think McIntyre wants to hammer him away on him. I think McIntyre wants to do it. Oh, another kick right there. Man, I'm being worked up right now. Sorry about the arena shift, guys. I just noticed that as well. It kind of got screwed up. My bad. I'll try to be better in the future. Oh, but now McIntyre just continuing to stomp away right here. And Drew McIntyre. Look at him stomp. Look at him stomp on Bob. Oh my goodness, and a stomp to the face as well, as now Bob has been laid out courtesy. My God, and McIntyre, he's back again. And again, a clothesline to Bob. Drew McIntyre, and butt to Bob. And is McIntyre going to run the gauntlet? Is he going to finish off the Bob Club here tonight? Bob has been hit with another Claymore boot. Count to 100, referee. Let's get this all over. It's over. McIntyre runs the gauntlet. Congratulations. Ma wait! Wait! No! The gauntlet's not over! The gauntlet's not over! No! No! Jason Dreamer! Dreamer, no! Dreamer out of the crowd. Jason Dreamer, you can't do this, man. No. The gauntlet was supposed to be over. It was supposed to be over with Bob. And now Dreamer has got McIntyre all the way up. But Drew, Drew hanging on for dear life. No, dropped on the back of his head. Oh. And again, now McIntyre. No. Don't, not, a, no. From the World Heavyweight Champion, the WWE Champion, as Jason Dreamer is the final guy, I believe. Oh, no! Another Sling Blade. It's all over from Frozone. And three. Jason Dreamer puts away... <sighs> He puts away Drew McIntyre. I I don't know what to say. Drew McIntyre tried to run the gauntlet. He took out all the members of the Bob Club, but Jason Dreamer. Jason Dreamer puts an end to that. That is unreal. Wait a second. Hang on. Oh my god! We got a confrontation going on backstage between Shell the Black Widow and Becky Lynch? 
What the hell? And oh my god, we got a backstage brawl now! What is going on here tonight? What is breaking down? The Bob Club causing mayhem out in the ring. And as the Bob Club left behind, Becky Lynch is now going after Shell the Black Widow. What the hell? What is going on? Oh my god, Shell's getting attacked by Becky Lynch backstage. Becky Lynch is going right after Shell the Black Widow. We saw these two women in earlier time, earlier in the night. But now, they're here. They're going. I'm sweating like crazy, everybody. You should be really, really, really impressed with the show. But my god, Shell now. Continuing to work Becky Lynch. Reversal there. Back elbow catches Shell. And look at this. Shell the Black Widow and Becky Lynch brawling backstage. Woo! Continuing to work her right now. Becky Lynch. And imagine, imagine, imagine if Becky Lynch knocks out the champion backstage here. She's going for the locker. All but a back elbow there from Shell. And look, look at Shell go. Oh, what a stalling suplex. I'll be right back, guys. One sec. All right, man oh man. Shell the Black Widow continuing to hammer away on Becky Lynch right now though. And Becky Lynch and these two are brawling backstage. Oh, what the hell? Oh, for a second I thought Shell was going to work and send her into the electrical box that we saw Drew McIntyre. No, into the concrete wall. Becky Lynch. All reversal there as Shell the Black Widow gets countered. Wait, high arm, oh, misses that one. And this brawl is going on. I mean, the Bob Club has all been taken out. All the management backstage has been taken out. So things are kind of breaking down backstage right now. Like, that was supposed to be our main event. But Shell the Black Widow and Becky Lynch are brawling right now. And Bob is down. Steve Taylor is down. Everybody is down on the outside. The WWE Champion Jason Dreamer is trying to attend to them. But I'm not sure he's going to be able to get them up to their feet. To stop this brawl anytime soon as Becky Lynch going right after Shell. And now, Shell. Oh no, Shell. Oh, just thrown to the ground there again. And Becky Lynch, what's Lynch looking for? Lynch. Lynch goes for a neck breaker on the concrete floor. Wait, Lynch is going all the way up now. Becky. Leg dropped a shell. And Becky is working her big time. Drop kick to the back of shell again. And the, the, the women's champion right now is being dropped by the last kicker by Becky. No. Oh, sent through the door and into, I believe, is that Triple H's room? Are we in Triple H's room? Triple H. Oh, but shell. What's shell going to do? No. Shell, oh, just slams her on the concrete floor, rolls back through the door. Shell, my God, back into the room as Becky Lynch lands hard. And Shell's going after Lynch. A right hand there, side Russian leg sweep to Lynch on the floor. And now Shell, right back on the attack. This is our final segment of the evening. As the general manager's working his way backstage, now he's back up to his feet. And Becky Lynch with a right hand there to Shell. And this is the general manager's office, maybe not Triple H's. This is Bob's office. And my God. And Becky Lynch hits the neck breaker and knocks Shell out and leaves her for Bob in her office as a sign of things to come. Wow, guys. <sighs> so, all right. A few things. What a show. What a show. Um, the show's done. <laughs> That's the end of Monday Night, or sorry, Wednesday Night Bob. But my God, I am I'm blown away. I'm blown away. All right. I'm absolutely blown away. I thought that that show was great. Um... I now know moving forward that there's little details that I need to pay attention to as like the arena <laughs> because that wasn't really good. Um, unfortunately, guys, if we are going to do things like that with editing in the series where things are a little bit more storyline scripted so we can create a really cool story, there are going to be moments that I cannot edit out the, um, 
the little counting thing, you know? The thing where it goes one, two, three, where you can try to kick out. There's no way to remove that off the screen that I know of. So unfortunately, there's no way that we can actually tell matches like that. Um, moving on in the four. But my God, everything broke down tonight on Wednesday Night Bob. I hope you guys enjoyed that show. And I hope that was a great show to leave you guys on for the next little bit. Um, maybe take off the kick out things and you can take it off the kick out things and you can take it out in the settings. I, I don't know if you can take it out in the settings. If you can, great. If not, then I don't know what we're going to do. But again, guys, thank you so very much for watching. We're going to be live with NXT in two hours and 20, or sorry, 19 minutes. So make sure you guys are there live with us on NXT. I got to go pack because I'm going on vacation uh, literally after NXT. I'm heading home. And then heading up to my cottage with all my friends for a few days. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that, guys. So this week, there's going to be no Hold the Rope and no Con and Bob podcast, okay? Hopefully you guys understand. But until later on tonight in NXT, I've been Con, and thanks for watching. Thank you so much to everybody who dropped a donation and became a member. Uh, you guys are truly amazing. Thank you for supporting the show. But I'll see you tonight for NXT. I've been Con, and that was Wednesday Night Bob. <laughs>